welcome back so today we'll be talking about securing Azure SQL databases so we'll be performing three different operations here the first one is uh, data discovery and classification Azure uh, Defender for SQL and auditing so initially we will be deploying this using the custom uh, ARM templates then we'll be the task two would be we'll be implementing Azure Defender for SQL so this comes into picture when uh, there is a protection against attacks such as SQL injection and data exfiltration and the next thing is uh, we'll be going ahead with data discovery and classification so this is the ability to discover and classify database information into categories such as confidential and finally we'll be going with auditing which is uh, the ability to audit database servers and database queries and log events saying that let's jump into the video so initially we have to go to the Azure portal and search for the deploy custom templates so in the previous video we have done a lot of uh, custom templates you can see here click that so we've already deployed it so let me show you how this is done so build your custom template click that and here you have to load the file so when you click the load you can see under the labs 11 you have a file called Azure deploy.json click that so once you click that we have uh, the resources related to that so just save it once it is done and uh, we have three resources in this custom template and make sure you select the proper subscription and coming to the resource groups you have to select uh, is it 500 lab 11 initially I don't have it so just create new one and add this particular name here and make sure its region is East US once it is done review it and create so once it is done go back go back to the resource groups and this resource group will be created which is uh, is it 500 lab 11 click that and uh, initially you can see so we have done with creating a custom template the task 2 is to configure advanced data protection so for that we have to click this uh, SQL server click that and uh, here under security you can see Microsoft Defender for the cloud click that so basically if you talk about Defender for the cloud it is used for cloud security posture management which is CSPM and cloud workload protection solution that finds weak spots across your cloud configurations helps strengthen uh, the overall security posture of your environment and can protect the workloads across multi multi cloud and hybrid environments from evolving so you can see uh, this is the microsoft defender for the cloud so you'll be seeing a button here which says enable enable uh, defender for this sql so you have to click that so once it is done once uh, it is successfully enabled you'll be seeing here which says uh, successfully enable azure uh, defender for the sql so once it is done you have to click the configure which is uh, beside this you see it has been enabled for the server side level and here click the configure so when you click the configure make sure you review it so can review the vulnerability assessment management settings and advanced threat protection so if you talk about these two coming to the vulnerability assessment management settings so vulnerability assessment is easy to configure service that can discover track and help you remediate potential database vulnerabilities it provides visibility into your security posture has a part of Azure secure score and includes the steps to re resolve uh, security issues and enhance your database and coming to the advanced threat protection it detects anomalous activities indicating unusual and potentially harmful attempts to access or exploit your SQL server it continuously monitors your database for suspicious activities and provide uh, actions oriented security alerts on uh, anomalous database access patterns so this is some of the difference between these uh, two so make sure you review it you can also keep your email so that if there is any uh, scan results it will be sending to your mail and once this is done go back here so if you go here 
so since I just deployed recently there is no recommendations but uh, you can check it later so let's go to the next task 3 which is uh, configuration of data classification so for that under settings you can see SQL databases so click that and uh, here you can see there is az finder lab db click that and uh, once you click it under settings you can see okay, okay. so you can see uh, data discovery and uh, classifications under uh, security click that So basically, this particular tab provides uh, basic capabilities for discovering classification and labeling and reporting the sensitive data uh, in the databases that we have just deployed using the app templates. So if you go to the classifications, click the classification, you can see there are 15 columns with classification recommendations. Click that. And we have 15 recommendations with states that the sensitive label is confidential you can see so you can select all and accept selected recommendations click that so once it is done click save so it has been updated now we can uh, can see the graph here now we can go to the task 4 which is uh, configuring your uh, auditing again under security you can see auditing click that and here you have to enable uh, SQL auditing enable it select the storage and select the appropriate subscription so here we have to create storage account which I already done which states a storage lab 11 so you can create a new one and just give some unique name here so here I gave storage uh, lab 11 which is a unique name and once it is done So click the advanced uh, properties and make sure it's 5 and click save. Successfully saved auditing, okay. So it has been successfully saved and now we can go to the settings and uh, where is it? So you can click the scale databases, entry, click auditing, oh okay. yeah. so did we click auditing, yeah, auditing, Next and uh, Let's go to the audit logs. So we have a server side audit, and uh, we can see there is a database audit. So if we talk about server side audit, here you can, uh, it's a way of tracking and reviewing activities of your server. And if we talk about database, so coming to, uh, coming to database audit, so auditing for Azure SQL databases and uh, Azure uh, Synapse Analytics tracks database events and uh, writes them into the audit logs in your Azure storage account, log analytics workspace or event hubs. So if we go back, 
says view server settings enable storage subscription database advanced by see process it's done if I go back if I refresh this now it's enabled so this is how you can uh, enable the auditing and once it's done make sure you delete the resources So now we have uh, completed the lab. So we have used this uh, architecture using the ARM templates, the custom templates, and then we have implemented Azure Defender for SQL and data discovery and classification, and then auditing. So if you understood the concept of securing Azure SQL databases, please click like below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys.